Eagle fans, it's Eagle fan Carl. This is going to be my preview and prediction video for the game Sunday against the Tennessee Titans. And the Eagles sort of come into this game in an exact opposite position uh, that the Titans are in. The Eagles have finally gotten healthy at the quarterback position, and the Titans seem to be having a problem with health at the quarterback position. Uh, Marcus Mariota hurt uh, his elbow uh, the first game of the season. Blaine Gabbert had been filling in, and then last week Blaine Gabbert gets hurt, gets a concussion. Uh, and Mariota's got to come in and finish the game despite the fact that his elbow isn't completely back. Uh, so there's really a question as to just how healthy uh, Mariota is. Um, and it looks like at this point he's going to be the guy that's going to be playing on Sunday. And you've got to ask the question, uh, you know, just how effective is he going to be throwing the ball downfield like 20 yards? Uh, so I would expect the Eagles defense is going to have an easier time in this game than maybe they would have had uh, the Titans had a healthy quarterback playing because uh, they do have a good young wide receiver that I actually liked when I was looking at players last year in the draft. Um, not this past season, but the season before when we got Derek Barnett. When I was looking at players before, Corey Davis was one of the guys I really liked and would have liked to see that Eagles possibly get him, uh, considering wide receiver was one of the needs we had going into that draft. Uh, so uh, the simple fact of the matter is uh, he wasn't available when the Eagles drafted. He was already off the board. The Titans had already taken him. But I think he's a good receiver and could potentially have a big play possibilities against us, similar to what happened in the Buccaneers game. But then, like I said, the question is just how far down the field can Mariota throw the ball with any sort of consistency? Uh, so that's going to be something I think it's going to be interesting to watch in this game uh, is just how effective they are with uh, plays downfield. Because if they're not, there's no reason the Eagles can't really jam up the box more, try to shut down their running game, make sure that Mariota is not getting out and making any plays with his legs uh, that are going to cause uh, big yardage. Uh, and then really not have to worry as much about the, the back end, which is, of course, important because our safeties are banged up, of course. It looks like we've lost Rodney McLeod for the season. Uh, so Malcolm Jenkins and probably Corey Graham, I guess, are going to be holding uh, down the fort in the backfield. Got no problems with Malcolm Jenkins, but Corey Graham, of course, is a question mark as to how good he can play in the long term. Now, all that said, we know that the Eagles defense has not played as well on the road as they have at home, but if there's any time that you're going to flip this, this would be the week to do it because everything lines up for you to be able to do that. This team has struggled to score points this season. They're only averaging 16 points a game in their first uh, three games. Uh, and last week, they beat the Jaguars by only scoring nine points. They won a 9-6 field goal battle uh, last week against the Jaguars. So uh, it really raises the question just how effective is this offense going to be if our defense is playing well. And uh, I think that's really the question is how well can this defense play? I think Jim Schwartz uh, will be able to utilize his defense the way he likes in terms of uh, dropping his guys in coverage and being able to bring these four down linemen. And hopefully that will allow us to get some pressure on Mariota uh, and not let him get out and make plays with his legs. Like I said, you know, I think making sure that the Eagles are containing him. And that's another reason why it's good to probably only send the four guys is because it allows for more guys to be able to guard the back end if he does get out of the rush of the four down linemen. So I think the Eagles defense can really have some success against this offense and hopefully finally get off the schneid a little bit about the problems we've been having with playing defense on the road. Uh, and I think that that can happen. The other question then, of course, is, well, what about our offense? And our offense is finally starting to get it together. Like I said, Carson Wentz looked good last week. He didn't look great. He obviously had some rust. Made a mental mistake with the interception. Uh, so I think that certainly we will be able to um, hopefully look for him to continue to improve on his game. Uh, hopefully he's going to be getting some weapons back. It looks like Darren Sproles is going to be out, though. Uh, but hopefully Alshon Jeffrey will be able to uh, come back and play. Uh, there's reports that, of course, he's dealing with an illness. So hopefully that uh, resolves itself before Sunday and he's able to get out there and give us uh, a full um, game and, and really give him uh, what he really brings to this offense, which is a legitimate number one wide receiver. If we do that, I think it's really going to sort of open up all that underneath stuff. It's going to open up stuff for Ertz and for Goddard and uh, Aguilar and some of the other wide receivers we've got uh, and allow for plays out of the backfield. Obviously, no Sproles, but Corey Clement can be important that way as well. 
Uh, and Jay Ajayi hopefully will be able to get something going with the, with the running game. And even Wendell Smallwood showed last week that he's able, he's able to come in and provide a boost as well if it's needed. So uh, hopefully we've got enough there on the offensive side that we'll be able to put, keep putting things together and uh, continue to, um, be able to be able to build on what we did last week. And for that reason, I don't see why we're going to do any worse than we did last week in terms of scoring points. So I think we'll be able to score some points, which hopefully means uh, if our defense is able to hold up its end of the bargain, that we should be able to win this game, I think, relatively easily. Now, the one thing that is interesting is I'm watching these games, and the one thing that really sort of dawned on me last week as I was watching that game against the Colts was it's become apparent to me that, you know, since we are the reigning Super Bowl champions, we are never going to be someone's letdown game. Uh, you know, like I said last week, I really didn't see the Colts being able to go on the road uh, two weeks in a row and play at a high level and, uh, you know, be able to really sort of uh, hang with us. Um, uh, so I predicted a, a much close, a, a much easier margin of victory than what ended up happening. And I think some of that had to do with the fact that, you know, we're always going to be getting people's best games. And then when you compound that with issues like turnovers, it becomes even more of a problem. So I think we've got to make sure that we're, uh, we're not turning the ball over. We won that game last week, despite the fact we lost the turnover battle two to nothing. Uh, and that's just generally not going to happen. And this year, that's been a bit of a problem for the Eagles. Uh, right now, we're a minus three in turnover differential. Uh, the Titans are a plus one. So uh, if that... If that happens again this coming week and uh, we we lose the turnover battle two to nothing or three to one or something like that where we're losing it by uh, you know a significant amount, I think that that's going to become problems for us uh, and it could become a situation where uh, the fact that I think this is going to be an easier win ends up being a much more difficult game, close game, and maybe even they end up losing it uh, if they're not uh, protecting the ball and making sure that they're not turning it over. All that said, though, like I said, I think the Eagles are going to finally really get things together uh, on the offensive side of the ball. I think also some of the, uh, you know, in terms of like the muff punts, I know it didn't end up leading to turnovers, but some of the muff punts and all that kind of stuff, I think a lot of that was weather related and that should not be a problem then uh, for tomorrow's game. Uh, so all that, all, you put all of that together and I think the Eagles will be fine. For that reason, I think they're going to win this game. I think they're going to win it relatively easily too. Uh, so for that reason, my score is going to be Eagles 23, Tennessee Titans 9. Uh, I think that we're going to keep them out of the end zone and maybe just hold them to a few field goals. We've shown this year, uh, just like we were sort of showing uh, last year as well, that this team is really good in the red zone on defense. Uh, so I think we'll be able to shut them down when they get in there. And I don't see them having the big play capabilities uh, like the Buccaneers did against us. So for all those reasons, I think the Eagles win this. I think they win it easily by two touchdowns. Uh, so that's my prediction. Let me know in the comments below what your prediction for this game is. Do you think I'm overconfident? Do you think, like me, it's going to be a relatively easy win? I'll obviously check in after the game and give you my thoughts. Until then, fly Eagles fly.